Hello, and welcome back to another round of Forgotten Orb 2. This time on the CMP maps, together with a beta tester, Goliati. Good day. And the map is called Bloody Gulch. Not one of my favorite maps. In fact, I wouldn't really call it a map. Because map implies some kind of design. Is it really that bad? Uh, it's, it's one of the weakest in the pack, I think. Oh, Joey. We're in for a one hell of a ride now. Ah, shit, I have Sprint Park as well. And I crashed. <laughs> yeah, me too. God fucking damn it. <sighs> yeah, these maps are completely fucked up. Anyway, why, why, people, why people are playing those? Why is that thing relevant or popular? Well, the Pacific maps are popular because there's new stuff on them and some of them are quite good. But the other ones, I don't know. Okay, anyway, let's stop the recording. Okay, back now. Second try. Although now we're on different teams. Well, it could be fun. No. We can have a chat and uh, insult this map back to pieces. Yeah, maybe. Oh look, a badly placed static. Wow, this map really is badly designed. Well, the word designed implies uh, design. Okay, yeah, this is really weird. I think this is one of them that they should just ditch, especially since this is the second time I've crashed on it. Did you crash again? No, no, but um, we played it, um, or tried to record on it, um, a few days ago. I think, uh, yeah, last Sunday. And there the same thing happened. CTD'd okay. and after that the server crashed. Mercifully. Just wow. Can't really say anything else to that. I think I'm hearing the jet jet noise here. The you know the jet button, the sound button. Don't know what you mean to be honest. The the bug, sound bug where you can hear the jet engine going off. Ah, jet engine. I thought jet. Yeah, I don't know what causes that. That has been around for ages. I think it's just the rocket sound being looped for some reason. Okay. Ah, crap. There's a German around here, but there's way too much concealment. Because uh, the, uh, the m number one sign of a terrible custom mapper is uh, overgrowth anywhere. Uh, everywhere, I mean. Because um, it's easier than to, you know, actually design areas. You can just spam randomly generated overgrowth everywhere. It really takes a lot of the work out of mapping. Yeah, I can't really say anything anything to that because I'm not a mapper. I'm just a lowly tester. <laughs> Number one thing with uh, multiplayer mapping is flow, establishing some kind of flow through the map. In fact, one of the best mapping tutorials I ever read was actually for Counter-Strike. Not because of anything like specific, but because it really uh, made me understand the, uh, like, the basic principles of mapping. Oh, damn it. Like how a map has to be set up and structured. Now, of course, in Counter-Strike it's a mo lot more stringent, like, you don't have as much uh, options for running around and so on. But the basic principles are the same in Battlefield. 
Oh god, this is horrible. Is that an enemy? Yep. Yeah, that doesn't look properly light mapped. You know, this is a bit like watching these Star Wars prequels, where it's like, you know, clearly this person has seen a film before, but it doesn't really know how it works, just with a map. <laughs> oh god, they don't even have low detail textures. <sighs> okay, okay that, sorry. Oops. Well, overgrowth, I guess. And some trees. Or do, do trees count as overgrowth? Yep. Trees and bushes. All randomly generated. Which is horrible because in order to have a, um, a functioning gameplay area, you can't just have uh, things at random. The, the player needs to always know his options, where the enemy could be, wh what his uh, own tactical uh, approaches are and so on. For example, to look at a, if you look at a map like um, Hurtgen Forest, sure there's lots of trees, but the real gameplay is between the foxholes and the rocks and the logs and the, um, what's it called, the um, um, shell craters and stuff like that, you know? And these are placed very cleverly to, so people run from one to the other almost automatically. It's not just spam of random trees. Well, I can't really say anything to that because I don't, I don't like Hurtgen. I think it's a shitty map. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because of the, I remember because of the um, spawns. Well, spawns and it's just, um, how should I say, difficult to play. If you know what I mean. It, it's just, it's just too much. Too much is there to take cover. You get, you get, you get shot everywhere and then. Is that I really don't like. Yeah? Hmm, well, for me it's more of the opposite. It's one of those maps that to me plays really predictable. Also, I really don't like her on her and I really don't like the don't like the hill climb on the American side. It's just brutal. You so mean on the middle? Brutal. Yeah, on the middle, the first flag. Now that one is more brutal for the Germans because you're so bunched up uh, for mortars, in my experience at least. Well, yeah, but you still don't have to climb a hill and get shot while it's almost well not impossible but very difficult to get to get pushed from, uh, from pu get pushed from the other sides, from the south and north. I mean, it's just so difficult. Although that's just my my own opinion. Okay. Yeah, of course, everybody has his uh, own opinion on maps and. Um for example, yeah, there was a German. Uh, for example, many people like, damn it, many people like um, Gold Beach. Personally, never really been a huge fan of it. I mean, it's not a horrible map. It's just uh, doesn't work for me. Oh, that was just a real fucking nice bar, right in the front of an enemy. Well, I mean, spawns you can never really get perfect in this. Of course, they don't have modern like raid checks and stuff like that, where where it looks, you know, wh what areas are safe. And even in modern 
Battlefield games. For example, in Battlefield 1 in the beta, many people complained about the, the spawns there, if I, if I remember correctly. I really like the spawns on that game. Yeah? Okay. Damn it. Um, yeah, I, I personally never got to try it. Just okay. didn't... Um, just didn't find the time during the time of the beta. Okay. Yep. Yep. Anyway, at least this map is ended. Really not a very good one. Let's hope we can uh, get on the same team on the next map. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.